What's going on everybody? Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I'm be showing you a quick video overviewing LUTs, which is lookup tables in Vegas Pro 16. Now if you don't know what a LUT is or never heard of that, Google it. It's something a lot of filmmakers and indie filmmakers and even big blockbuster filmmakers use as a starting point to get a certain film look. It's basically an Instagram filter that you can put on your video. But there's a lot of presets people make and release for free, and there's a lot of really in-depth stuff that you can purchase as well that looks really good. The goal of a LUT is to give you a good starting point to making your film look the way you want it to look, get the mood right. It's not meant to do the entire job for you, but it's meant as a good stepping stone. Basically kill half the work at least to getting your video to look how you want. Whether you want it to be cinematic or you want it to be psychedelic or something crazy, LUTs can do that. Now in Vegas 16 Pro, they added a LUT filter. Before in the other versions of Vegas, they didn't have this. And so you had to either purchase a third party plugin or something along those lines. But in Vegas 16, they give you their own and it's awesome. It doesn't come with any LUTs, so you gotta go and download those, but a lot of people offer them for free. Just Google it, YouTube it, just say LUT pack download, something like that, and you'll find a ton. So I have a few already preloaded right here, and I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorites and show you how I use them. But one of my favorites I use is the Teal Orange One. I have a few of them right here, but if you drag and drop your LUT onto your film, it basically color corrects it. Now the settings in here are real simple. This interpolation, basically is just a quality filter so you want good or the best quality i like best quality on mine and this right here let me show you i'm going to do a half view the right here is the original footage and then when we put the lut on it turns it into a movie like almost cinematic right there because in movies most movies if you go and look this up it's called the orange and teal effect basically it makes the skin tones more orange and brown and it makes the shadows and the darker colors the deep colors it changes them from black to almost a bluish. And so this LUT is a really good starting point to making something look cinematic. And you can adjust the strength down here, which is really convenient from zero all the way to 100%. And so I always like to put my strength somewhere around maybe the 50%-ish area and then color correct from there. So let's just say, you know, that's pretty good right there. And that already, just adding that one LUT to this footage makes it look cinematic. There's a lot to choose from, and I'll go through a few of them that I have, but basically to acquire and input a LUT, you have to go to File and Browse and find your LUTs right here. I have a bunch of them in a folder, set up as Vegas plugin LUTs, and you just double click it and then it puts it in here. And after you get done with that, you can name it something and then save it, and then you don't have to go through that whole process of browsing for the plugin itself. So I saved that one here. I'm just gonna go through a few of them and show you what they look like. We have Antarctica, that one looks pretty cool. That's a definitely an orange and tealish look as well. That one looks pretty cool too. There's a lot to choose from. That one kind of looks like a dark scene, just a real like grim looking scene. We got some psychedelic looking ones. Forest. And this, I'm going to stop right here too to explain this one. It's a custom LUT I've found that pertains specifically to my digital camera. I have a Lumix G7 and what you kind of want to do when you're recording videos is get a real flat look. Something that still has color inside the film, but it's more just neutral. So you can adjust it from there. Because you don't want to record something with a reddish tone and be like, yeah, I want it to be a cold scene. Well, that's going to be really hard to do if, it's, if the colors are already baked in red. So when you record, you want to record as something neutral and then color correct from there. So I can get as neutral as possible with my camera, but then if I add this LUT here as well, it flattens it out even more. It almost kind of looks a little bit gray, but with this LUT in here, I can apply it and then drag a different LUT on here. Say the orange and teal one. Because you can stack LUTs. So you don't have to have just one. You can put as many LUT filters as you want. So then I got my LUT filter here. Drag it down. And then we can just play with these. Neutral neutralizes the colors a little bit. 50%-ish right there. Bring that up. That's looking a lot like a movie for sure. But yeah, you just play with it. And then from that point on, if you wanted to if you decided and you finalized on your LUT, then you go to color corrector and then you throw in your color corrections. So let's just say default there. 
And then you just play around with it. Make the low something deep like that if you wanted, or Breaking Bad effect, which is a greenish background. Your mids, something around right here area. Your highs, you can make those blue as well, or drag those up red. You know, just play around with the color correction. That looks almost like a Quentin Tarantino movie right here. But yeah, LUTs are awesome. They're not meant to completely do all the work. You still have to do sharpness. You still have to do color correction. A lot of things are still in play if you want to make your footage look good, but LUTs are an awesome stepping stone. If you don't know about them, now you do. Now you know how to apply them. Search for them. There's plenty of them on the internet, and it's awesome that Vega 16 now has this LUT plugin. It is fantastic. And that's going to wrap it up for this brief video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that tutorial video. If you liked it, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you want, you can also consider supporting my Patreon, because the more patrons I have, the better giveaways and more frequent I could throw them. I also sell a bunch of stuff on Amazon and TeePublic. And if you want to be in on the loop and eligible to earn extra entry points, be sure to check out the community section on my YouTube page. That's where I'll be posting all my updates along with all the social media in the description. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.